Hello fellow gardeners, we're back with you again this week. And we had some questions uh, text to me about, well we saw your video where you put the bucket over the tomato plant and then put the newspaper and put another bucket over that to keep the tomato plant from freezing. But what are we going to do if we've got spinach or greens out there and it's going to get real cold? What can we do about that? Because I've got we've got about seven or eight plants of plants in the bucket. So we're here to show you what we recommend you do. Then take you some of this half-inch PVC and you heat it with a hot with a uh, hair dryer and you heat it on the bottom side and bend it in to you. Now I could took a little more time and made this more circled, which what you should do. But anyway, you take these and put them right in that bucket. Just like it right there. Take the other and put it on this other way like this right here. Now you haven't hurt your plants. They're all still in here. Then you take your sheet of plastic. Now I'm not going to take this loose because it's windy out here today. I couldn't get it over this uh, by myself. If I tried I don't think. And so to and not embarrass myself I'm not going to take it loose. But this is a piece of plastic about uh, uh, you need a piece see, that'll reach down to the ground, so that's about four feet, and that's four feet. So you need an eight by eight sheet of plastic. You know, you got these little old painters plastics that doesn't cost very much. You can buy them and put one of them over it. I think they're about eight by eight or ten by ten, something like that. But the fact that you get this over here, like into this, and then you get this plastic over the top of it, and then you tie a string around that plastic after it gets it down here to the ground. You just tie your string around this here bucket and hold that plastic down. That will keep your uh, plants, uh, maybe, I'm not going to say maybe pepper plants or something. You know, I mean, you might have three pepper plants in this bucket. You can have a tomato plant. It wouldn't make any difference, but uh, the folks mostly that was calling me was concerned about where they had about seven plants in here and so this is the way this covers this to keep your lettuce from burning or your spinach. It's going to have to get pretty cold to burn lettuce but it did. We got down to about five degrees here in Oklahoma this year and uh, most of my customers lost their lettuce. Excuse me, it froze back is what it did. It's coming back but anyway it did knock it down for a little bit. I just wanted to show you this little tip to give you a little idea. You can use wire instead of this, or you can buy a half inch conduit and bend it around a couple of deals to make it half circle and put two of them in there. Just anything like this will keep your plants from burning in a real cold winter, cold day. All right, well, thanks for following us. We're going to be watching for texts from you telling us about how good your plants are growing. And if any of you running into any problems, just text me or, or text Sherry, and uh, we'll sure try to help you. My number is 580-564-5909. That's for Leon. And Sherry's number is 580-564-2166 at the Garden Center, and she'll be glad to help you Monday through Friday. Uh, best to call about 8 to 1. Because in the afternoon, we have another lady come in, and of course, she can talk to you, but if you want to talk to Sherry, call from about 8 to 1 in the daytime, Monday through Friday. And we thank you for watching, and we're going to go back fishing, and y'all have a good day.